Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Pandora video. So today I'm going to be showing you charm by charm, bead by bead, my Christmas bracelet. So this is a work in progress bracelet. I don't want to fill it up all in one year. And um, so I add a little something to it every year. I've been collecting it for a while now. <laughs> Princess just came in. So I am going to be showing you all of the charms. I just unboxed the bracelet. I got a new bracelet and the two brand new ice blue snowflake Muranos from this year's collection um, in another video. So if you want to check out that unboxing, I will link it below. They were actually a promotion that my mom got for me um, on her trip to Spain. It was a buy a bracelet and two charms for 99 euro promotion. So I was pretty excited about that because I needed a new Christmas bracelet. My old one was getting a little small and I really wanted Murano's like this. It's not even full yet. I just, it was too small. It's just the wrong size. Regardless, we're going to jump right into this so that I'm not talking for 8 million years as I tend to do. And we are going to go charm by charm and I will show you what all is on my Christmas bracelet. I definitely need, I'm at least one charm off right here. I need another bead um, to balance out what I have on my bracelet right now. And I have a couple ideas of what I'd like to get, but I need y'all's help. So if you could watch the video, obviously, and then leave a comment down below what you think would look good in this spot. I'll probably just get one more bead this year since I just got Murano so far for this spot and then we'll wait to keep filling it up until next year. So help me decide what should my 2022 bead be? Let's get started. All right, so the full Christmas bracelet. Dun, da, da, da. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. So I'm not going to take these off, but I am going to go bead by bead and I will show you the hallmarks wherever I can. I love, I'm, I'm gonna stop singing. I'm sorry, I'm just so excited. I sing when I'm excited. But I love how they look with those new Muranos. Most of these charms I've either collected over the years from um, buying ornaments and getting the ornaments with them or from Rula Law when they have their Christmas sales. But we start with the two turtle doves. And it says love on the little dangle there. Their hallmarks are not visible. Very first charm and I can't find the hallmarks. They're at the end though, so. Some of these original charms, they hide the hallmarks. So they are on the bottom here by the feet. S925ALE. Love. I need to get my nails redone. And technically, this isn't a Christmas charm, but two turtle doves, you know, I think it is. I like it on this. I bought them because I just loved them and they seem to fit here more than anywhere else. So then I have my snow angel or my sugar cookie angel. I will try to put names of all these on the screen, but I've had a lot of them for a long time, so I don't know the names off the top of my head. All right, another hidden one. Her hallmarks are up here on the bail. S925, flip her over, A-L-E. So tiny. I do love this charm, but as you can see, she's yellowed with age and with time, she's no longer clear and pretty and white anymore, which I have to tell you, I don't love, but it is what it is. And I still like the charm overall. I'm not going to get rid of it because of that. So, you know, moving on, we have a Christmas present. I love the CZs on this. I didn't, I don't want a lot of red on this bracelet. I don't do red, S925, ALE. I don't do green, even if you watch any of my decorating videos for Christmas, like I don't do a red and green Christmas. This year I'm doing blush and copper and sea foam. 
it's just, it's, it's not my thing. Take a look. <laughs> this is my thing. So I liked all these silver beads and I've just been adding those. Now I do like ice blue. So next up is a ornament. I also love the CZs. As many CZs as they'll give me, I'll take. And we have the traditional, easy to find, S925 ALE on the bale there. Thank goodness. And it has a bunch of these little oxidized snowflakes all the way around the ornament and the bale, which are just pretty. And it's a heavy charm, which is nice. Next up, one of the many Christmas trees, they have several. Now, if I were to go for any new beads for a new bracelet, I would get the Christmas tree and the snowflake and all the new rose gold beads, but I'd have like rose gold wouldn't go on this as much as I'd want it to. So I'd have to do a whole Christmas rose gold bracelet. And do I want to go for that? I don't know. I love the CZs on this though. I, yeah. As I say, I have to imagine the hallmarks are on the bottom. S925 ALE. You can see the ALE on camera. There's the S925. I'm like, it's just so oxidized on the bottom. And the back is just the same as the front. So then I have my braided rope clips, which are not Christmassy at all, but these are the very first set of clips I ever got. My husband gave them to me on my very first Pandora bracelet for Christmas. And so while I, he replaced them for me several years later with Magnolia clips on that bracelet, this bracelet right here, I'm wearing. they were on this and then he replaced them with these. And I love these on this bracelet. So they're staying, but then these rope clips had nowhere to go. And since he gave them to me, my very first clips, I'm not gonna get rid of them. I'm too much of a sentimental pack rat. So they have come to live on my Christmas bracelet, which I think is fitting. They are silver. They were given to me for Christmas. I wish they had CZs, but you know, back when he got these, they just didn't have that many clip options and he got them as part of a bracelet clip charm bundle. So, you know, all right, next up we have the mittens. So these do have a smidge of red on them, but to me, they're more like mauve than red. They're not red, red. They're burgundy-ish mauve, which I love. And I just love the chain here. Like that's so cute. So I love these and they have an interesting bail. I prefer CZs on the bail, but if you can't have CZs, anything interesting will do. No clue where the hallmarks are on this. Zero clues. Maybe inside the bail. I don't see them. Maybe. You know, let me know. But they're real. I got them from the store. <laughs> and then, of course, my two new Muranos with the snowflake edges. Oh, man. So much and I know a lot of people said that they don't look that blue in person but against all of the silver I really think they do I think they look blue look at that that's blue it's totally blue love them so then we have my two centerpiece charms which are the rocking horse and the polar bear the rocking horse because my brother gave my mom a rocking horse ornament no clue why every single year of his life until he was like 16 and she told him to stop because she had too many rocking horses. She has them all over her tree. <laughs> Sorry. Don't know what happened, but my camera just went black. Um, seems to be fine now, but we'll watch it. So S925 ALE. He picked, started picking these when he was a little, little boy. So as soon as I saw the rocking horse, I was like, oh, I have to get that. And then the polar bear, because I was born in Alaska and I just like polar bears. S925 on the bottom there. I 
love the little flower or snowflake. I'm not sure. And then I would assume, yep, Ali is on the bottom of the bale. So then my very centerpiece is this button charm that is all I want for Christmas is you. Has a touch of the red and the green with the CZs. My favorite Christmas song. I know I'm cliche, but I just am. I like the meaning, okay? You know what? People are allowed to like what they like. I don't know why as a society we decided we have to start apologizing for that, but it's a problem for another day. So Reindeer, Rudolph, every year we have to watch Rudolph, A Charlie Brown Christmas, and The OG Grinch. Those are the three movies my family always watches. Like the OG Rudolph, you know, claymation style. So... S925ALE. He's oxidizing a lot, which is pretty. All right, last section, my least favorite of them all. But mainly that's because I need another bead here and because I don't like the snowboarder. My family, my dad and brother and I, um, love to ski. We've gone skiing all the time. My dad lives in Colorado. So we went skiing almost every year in high school. And my dad always joked that it was awful because I, the cautious, cautious baby could, would barely like agree to snow plow down the mountain, even though I knew how to ski. And my brother would just be like, see at the bottom and straight legged dive for the edge of the cliff. And so my dad was always like, do I stay with the cautious child or do I follow the risk taker? And I'm like, obviously you follow the risk taker. I'll be fine. I'm hardly moving. <laughs> and so I want a ski charm, but this one was on rule of law. And so I just had to get it. But I do have my little ornament here with the little star. There's the hallmarks. I knew they were somewhere around here. S925ALE. Snowman, snowboarder, snow person. S925ALE. There we go. He is pretty. I just don't love the red and I don't love that he's a snowboarder instead of a skier. So I may replace him down the line if I find something more fitting. But in the meantime, he lives here. My little snow globe. I love the CZs on this. Has a little gold on top. And it was from 2015. I do like the enamel bottom. And I believe, yep, the hallmarks are on the side. Come on. I have to go wash my hands after handling all these bracelets. There we go. Last but not least, I have my cute little sleigh. I love this charm. I love how detailed and different it is. So it has a present. It has a candy cane. It has a teddy bear with a little gold heart. It's so Cute. The hallmarks there. It says Pandora on the bottom of the sleigh runs. And then on the other side, it says the S925 ALE. And that's it. The whole bracelet. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I am obsessed with this bracelet now. I was really not that big of a fan of it before literally did not even take it out to wear it once last season and I already worn it several times this season so I love those ice blue Muranos to me those really make the whole bracelet they take all the silver beads and they just make them shine so right here is where I need another bead you can see I have way more space on the right than the left and that's because I have an extra one two three one, two. I only have two beads on this side where I have three on this side. So what I'm thinking is right here, maybe sneak in a little stocking with a mouse. 
the new one from this collection, but it ha she has that little red on her hat. And I do have red here on the snow border, so I could switch the snow border to have a little red and a little red, but I don't know. Do you think that is the right option or leave a comment down below, mouse in a stocking or a comment with what you think would look good right here. So in the meantime, I'm going to go do something else. I will see y'all later. Bye.